Hello friends, welcome back to Mini Violin Lessons with Dr. Wright. Today we are going to begin playing on the A string, which I am so excited about because now we're going to be playing on two strings, which is so awesome. Woo! Okay, without further ado, let's begin. So here are some things we should cover when we're playing on the A string. When you're playing on the A string, I would like you to think about your elbow as an airplane and your elbow has to land on top of each string. Now the trick to playing on the A string is we can't have our elbow drop as we're playing on the A string and we can't raise our elbow when we play on the A string. For instance, here we're playing on the A now. If I were to play on the A string and my elbow dropped, what string did you hear? If you said the E string, you are correct. Now what happens if I raise my elbow as I play? What string did you hear? If you said the D string, that is correct. When we're playing on the A string, we need to keep our elbow leveled on the A string. Then we will stay playing only on one string as opposed to two strings at once. Now, when we're playing on the A string, we still, when we're using half a bow, only need to use our forearm. Opening and closing our forearm to make sure that we're parallel to the bridge. That will ensure that we make a nice clear tone without the sound going in and out or without any scratchy noises. Now it's always important to practice open strings when you're practicing your instrument. This helps your body become familiar with the mechanism that is needed when playing on a particular string. And it helps with your sound production and your technique. Now, we're gonna learn a song today. You learned a new string and you're gonna learn a new song. This song is called the Kick Start Song. When playing the Kick Start Song, you'll be playing on both the A string and the E string. In this piece, we also have rests. How awesome is that? Not only are we playing on the A string and the E string, but we also have rests in the piece. What you're gonna do is you're gonna play your A four times in a row. And then you have four rests. Then you're gonna play your A again four times, and then you have four rests. After that, you're gonna to roll to the E string and repeat that same pattern. You're gonna play the E string four times, and then you have four rests. Then you play the E string again four times, and then you have four rests. I don't know why I'm dancing, but you know, I like to make everything fun and a little bit of a party, so let's just do it together. Then we roll our elbow back to the A string and we play that pattern again four times. And then instead of resting, we hold a nice long A. Let's try that. Let's set up together. We always set up our instrument when we're first starting the instrument, slowly and carefully to make sure that we're putting everything in the place it needs to be so that our body remembers how it should be and becomes more comfortable with the placement of the instrument. Bow on our belly button, crank position feet, violin out, over our violin foot, turn, bring the button to your ear, down to your shoulder, find your sweet spot, Check to see if your violin is balanced with the magic violin hold. And since we're not playing with fingers together, we can bring our hands back to the shoulder of our instrument. That way we can focus solely on our bow. Let our bow go out of our belly button. Tip at the ceiling so we can peekaboo on our bow. Bring it to the sounding point. Roll our bow to the A string. And then we play four A's. Repeat. Rest, rest, rest. Roll your bow to the E. Rest, rest, rest. Play. Rest, 
rest, rest. On the last stress, you roll your bow to the A string. Prepare for the slow A. Bow in the ear, so we let the sound ring. Now let's try it concert style and be sure to listen for the introduction and don't be concerned if you hear something else because we're going to do a play along. Bow go out, tip at the ceiling for a bow check, bring it to the middle of the string, roll to the A, listen for the introduction. Fantastic job, friends. Way to learn Kickstart. And you did a fantastic job at playing Kickstart. Now stay tuned as I'm so excited to share that I will be offering teaching lessons to those who are interested in learning how to teach beginner violinists. And I will be releasing a product very soon. So stay tuned, friends, and I'll see you next time.